The Tennessee Colleges of Applied Technology offer certificates and diplomas in many technical career fields that will have you workforce ready in months, not years. Your career begins here, starting with the application process, and we're ready to show you how easy it is. Before we start the online admissions application, let's review some general admissions requirements. Persons seeking admission to a TCAT must be 18 years of age or have a high school diploma or equivalent. So let's do some preliminary homework. First, find a TCAT and program of interest. Two, complete the FAFSA for access to scholarships and financial aid. Three, schedule a call with an advisor or schedule a campus tour to get your questions answered. To start the application process, visit the website of the TCAT where you've chosen to apply. On the navigation bar, choose Future Students. Select Admissions from the drop-down menu. Then select the Apply Now button to get started. As a new user, you'll need to create a login ID and PIN number. Your login ID can be up to nine alphanumeric characters. Your PIN number can be six to 15 numeric characters. Next, you'll need to select your application type. Your first option is new applicant. Your second option is returning applicant, which means you are a former or transfer TCAT student. Your third option is high school dual enrollment, and your fourth option is special industry. For this video, we're going to assume that you are a new applicant. Now let's address the information needed on your application. There are nine checklist items to complete. If you start the application but can't finish for any reason, save your work and finish later. For checklist item number one, complete the name fields shown in the example below. You'll also be asked to select when you would like to start college. Your options are fall, spring, and summer. If you're enrolling in a high demand program, your admission term selection may have to change. For checklist item number two, you'll be asked to complete several fields of personal information, including the following, birth date, citizenship, ethnicity, contact information, and military service. You'll also be asked to provide information for financial aid processing. For checklist items number three and four, we need your mailing address, as shown in the fields below. If by chance your permanent address is different from your mailing address, we would also like to collect that information. As always, remember that you can save your work and finish later or continue on to the next checklist item. In checklist item five, you'll select your program of study. In this example, the applicant has chosen TCAT Dixon. The Program Study drop-down reveals all programs available through TCAT Dixon at its satellite and main campus locations, and if the program is offered during the day or evening. Checklist Item 6 requests information about prior college attendance. If you have previously attended college, select the Lookup College code. From the State and City drop-downs, select your college. The address fields will auto-populate. If you have not attended college, select Continue to move to the next checklist item. Checklist number seven requests information about your high school attendance. Select the Lookup High School code to find your school. When found, the address fields will auto-populate. If you have a high school equivalency, you will enter the code provided. You'll also need to remember to provide your graduation date and GPA. Checklist number eight asks questions about immunizations. Specifically, hepatitis B and MMR, measles, mumps, and the three-day measles, and varicella, which is chickenpox. The questions focus on have you taken the vaccine, elected not to receive the vaccine, or are in the process of getting the vaccine. Checklist item number nine is the last section on the application. The questions concern your selective service status and if you are currently imprisoned and serving a criminal sentence. Congratulations, you've successfully completed all application checklist items. Your next step is to submit your application by clicking on the Application is Complete button. Once submitted, you'll be asked to agree to terms and conditions and sign your name. 
To check the status of your application, visit the Future Students Admissions page of the TCAT where you enrolled. On that page, under Applying to a TCAT, select Application Status. So what's next? TCAT staff will review your application. If all admissions requirements are met, a decision code will be added to your application. Next, you'll receive an email about your acceptance. A second email will be sent with instructions on activating a campus email address for future communications. After you receive your TCAT email address, you'll be able to access the TCAT student portal for information about your application, financial aid, orientation, and other events and activities. As we said in the beginning, the application process is easy. Visit tbr.edu slash start to find a TCAT and program near you, or contact your selected TCAT to learn more. When you're ready, we're ready.